With the release of that chilling footage one year ago today, a nation held hostage in the grips of fear could finally exhale. For Joe Carroll's reign of terror had come to an end. Now, tonight, as Carroll awaits his final chapter, we descend back into the darkness to investigate America's most notorious serial killer and the relentless agent obsessed with his capture. There was an inconsistency to the murders, making a pattern impossible to distinguish until the one connective thread became apparent. Our killer was telling a story. The murders were his art. And that led me straight to Professor Carroll. From a fascination with Poe and those first grisly murders that rocked a Virginia University, to his killer cult of fanatical followers who rampaged the country, leaving a gothic and gory trail of terror in their wake. This is the age of Joe Carroll, and my name will live forever. Our national nightmare may be over, but many mysteries still remain. We'll track those final hours as the FBI closed in on Carol, examine the role killer twins Luke and Mark Gray played in this grisly endgame, and uncover the truth behind Arthur Strauss, the man who mentored Carol. How many more of his psychotic students remain hidden in the shadows? Brave the cold, dark night and return to the scene of the crime as we count down to the execution of Joe Carroll. There are at least three perpetrators involved. It's an active investigation. You think this could be the work of Joe Carroll's cult? <sighs> Let's not speculate, please. As we now know, the murders that began on the anniversary of Carroll's supposed demise two years ago were in fact masterminded by Lily Gray and her twin sons, Mark and Luke. Their murder rampage has been a tribute to Carol's legacy, but Lily Gray is creating her own legacy. A twisted family of killers convinced Carol had eluded death, intent on luring this dormant monster out of the shadows. They succeeded, but their unholy union was not meant to be. Lily and Luke Gray would not survive their encounter with Carol, though their demise would come at the hands of the FBI. Agent Ryan Hardy returned to the FBI full-time in the wake of Carol's stunning capture. Joined by his niece, Max Hardy, the agent responsible for Luke Gray's death, Though Mark Gray remains on the loose, believed to have fled the country, many questions still remain about Agent Mike Weston's fatal shooting of Lily Gray. Sources suggest this hero might not be so saintly. As some believe, Weston exacted a cold and calculated revenge for the shocking and tragic murder of his father. As Carol sits on death row, awaiting the final punctuation point on his legacy of terror, those closest to him find themselves facing a similar fate. Carol's demented mentor, Arthur Strauss, believed to have given the killer refuge in the aftermath of the Havenport tragedy, remains incarcerated and awaiting trial for the attempted murder of noted Carol biographer, Carrie Cook who last year famously found herself a subject in her own terrifying story. As the country looks to Carol's looming execution with growing anticipation, Ryan Hardy has remained steadfastly silent on the matter, focused on the next chapter of his life. But one has to imagine Joe Carroll can never be far from his thoughts. For these two men, are forever linked 